So I took this photo the other day when I was out uh, walking the, the dog with Kate. Um, it's a nice sunny day, but chilly. But there's me in the bottom right hand corner, professional photographer look, taking a, a picture. So obviously this scene is uh, not ideal for um, a watercolour painting, but uh, let's crop it and see what we can do. Slightly better, a little bit more interesting there that uh, obviously those posts are, uh, are gonna need to go probably, or at least be moved. Um, also it's slightly out of focus because I've zoomed in quite a bit and obviously it's only a photograph on a camera phone but there's enough information there that uh, we can make a painting I think so um, let's do a sketch see what we can add to it see what we can take away and uh, let's see what painting we can do. So I've divided this 9 by 12 Saunders and Waterford 140 pound knot into four sections so I'm going to have a go at doing four little thumbnails of different ideas for this scene but all um, with the same kind of uh, starting point. So we've got not a lot of way of land here. There's a house there. And maybe there's a, another barn or something behind that one. And got some distant hills there. So uh, maybe instead of post here let's maybe have a tree yeah well, that might work and then we've got three there so that's one possible idea and again let's put the land in there got the house there turned into quite a of a barn looking thing but that's fine we'll go with that maybe farm buildings make it into more of a farm scene vertical there and we've got a distant hill and the track leaders in one idea and maybe we'll have a tree this side Those and uh, maybe a smaller tree there. Another idea. Farm building or house, whatever we want it to be. Have one house, maybe three, some sort there. Mountain or hills, let's go big. And three. Or track. Going down there, yeah, we get on with that. And so these are hopefully ideas that um, you know a beginner may attempt. But I try and keep this nice and simple. I like the, the two buildings. So there, maybe let's have a tree in front of that one. Bigger tree there. Another tree there. And then let's just go for one big mountain off in the, the distance there with maybe a distant field. And maybe let's just have tufts of grass in the foreground there. So let's have a go and put some paint on these and uh, see what we can come up with. I shall just mix all the paint that's left on this palette from a previous painting session together and get rid of that first. So we'll try some different colour combinations as well. So go nice and dark with this first one as we've got uh, paint left over here. So we've got a pink sky. A red sky, a red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Right, let's go darker clouds in there. It's going to be a stormy, stormy evening. So we need to have a bit of colour harmony. So we'll go for making this one a reddy brown painting. These clouds, bring them down smaller as they get to lower down. So a bit of 
dry brush here in the foreground. So this is kind of got a, a wintry feel to it. A few bits of light left there in the uh, foreground. Maybe we could actually just lift a bit of paint off, give it the illusion of a ploughed field or something maybe. Try to get the perspective looking half reasonable. Suggestion there. Distant bins. Soft edges in the, uh, the background here, around the tops of these roof rooftops. And go with this leftover brown field. Into a smaller building now because I've painted over it. Mind up the uh, Ground to the foreground with a bit of dry brush. So before that dries, we'll put some trees in. So we've got quite a dark painting here. So I'm going to certainly make the rooftop look light if we keep that white of the paper, maybe. And the, this is what these thumbnail sketches are for because they don't always work. It's better off to invest a small amount of time and just a small piece of watercolour paper rather than uh, go for uh, the big painting straight off do some working out have a bit of fun as well practice your watercolour technique so far I've practiced wet into wet painting clouds painting trees so there's the, the main tree there a different shaped tree just to of interest there so starting to uh, look like a scene cloud field so maybe a bit of that blue the side of the building keep that nice and cool It's all kind of been painted wet into wet so far. Darker maybe on the front there. It all up. Just before that dries, take some thick paint. The tube. Put a dark over there. Maybe a bit of a dark base there just to it to the ground barn door there so we dressed the road it leads us in while it's still damp maybe could lift the road out Let's dry that off. And let's put this three in here. So we just need a bit of detail. It's a light area here, so it's quite nice that we're getting a, a bit of light and dark there. It's winter, there's not a lot of leaves on that tree there. Take a bit of paint off. A bit of brush on there just to select. Yes, some smaller leaves and a bit of body. Maybe a bit of dry brush just to connect three there.
focus the uh, light here. Maybe. Uh, fence there, leading us into the, the farmyard. Farm building in the distance there. We can just maybe suggest the roof on top of that one. Uh, yeah, we've got a wintry scene. That uh, could be a some farm buildings and a road that goes off down there that we could actually try and lift a little bit more paint off. That maybe the road appears off down here. Um, yeah, there. So these are only little small paintings that uh, so we've got uh, five inch by about three and a half inch. Uh, I think we need something here, maybe a pile of wood backed up. Now building the story that this is a wood yard. Which a few little highlights out maybe. Up against the barn, there, balls and things. I think the white roof's just a little bit too white, so put some rust on it. So we've deviated it quite a bit away from the uh, photograph reference, but uh, the idea was there. There's a house with some distant hills and uh, on there so that's one possible outcome so let's have a go here tidy up this well a little bit so we don't end up with the same painting get rid of some of that so let's go for sunny day Come on it's really in blue gives us a nice uh, summer feel Sky nice and uh, clear. Nice, leave a little bit of a sparkle there. Yellow ochre, not much. Throw some uh, warmth to the scene here, that although it was uh, winter, that blue sky there. So let's pull that up into there. That there, just the road. Right. There, I'll let that dry. So we'll go for a uh, maybe an orange painting on this one. So uh, the blue is the complementary. So there's that uh, distant hill. Starts to steer it towards. Yellows and oranges. Farm building there. There, so we want to uh, crisp edges there, but uh, that's running up into there, which gives us the illusion of uh, the trees in the distance. Put that up into a field. Right. Now warm it up. I haven't gone for green. Try green one a bit further down. Get all up. Take care of the uh, the lead in there. So that's the road that goes on past the farm. It up. a little bit on the, the red side so let's throw a, that blue on there Let it run down yeah. so let's let that dry three in here six on the paper
Maybe we'll have some shadows on this one. Okay, we just need a little suggestion of twigs and things and leaves that it could be a tree. It's going to connect up a tree Actually, on this side of the road. Acts as a stopper. All that dries, it's shadow colour. Connect that up there. Maybe the sun is coming in from that direction. Maybe that's a view. Across there slightly. Let's put that tree in while we're we're doing trees. That volume. A tree that is, I don't know. Try and get it to convincing that it's a tree. All a tree there. Bit of water there. The shadows are going to be going off that direction. of blue yeah. one here a tin roof maybe make those buildings up three it's there and it gives an opportunity to also throw a shadow there, on there, 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 there. Obviously, thumbnails don't need to be as detailed as this, but uh, I'm just having a bit of fun with watercolour. Uh, that's the uh, secret. Don't get too serious with it all. It's uh, supposed to be fun. Is that nice orange roof there? It's just a bit of a wash. Orange foreground. Honestly, so I don't uh, disturb the paint underneath. Put it mark under there. Um, door there, side door, wire there, going to post there, paint, bird in the sky there, so we can maybe just suggest the uh, bank there, use black. Perhaps have an edge row there. Question to make it into a farm, um, but something there to help the eye travel through. Roof. Okay, let's have another pile of wood against there. Need to put a dark down something pile of hay maybe a little bit of dry brush just to directional marks there so use very similar compositional tools here that uh, some 
ploughed field marks that take us into the painting, marks on the road there. Um, we've got the trees as a kind of a stopper going off. It's um, very different, obviously, colour palette. So uh, let's have a go down here. What should we do down here? Green painting, wasn't it? That was it. Okay, we'll start with the grey, grey sky. By mixing all your colours on the left on the palette, that's going to give you a, a grey. Let's try for some clouds, just water. Let it uh, mix on the paper. Distant blue hill. Wet into wet, create that soft edge. Need water there, so we'll get some uh, light areas. I kind of learned that on that little master study I did of Ted Korski. But, uh, Kind of faded the mountain away to uh, nothing, which kind of gives it a uh, a look that it's um, maybe missed in the distance there. So it's a good exercise doing master studies that uh, fix something up. So darker in tone here. Sharp edge again, roof top of the building, which brings it into focus. A little bit too dark, maybe. So let's just put something on there. Off down here. Three will be darker, so it's not a problem to paint over that. So it's a grey, grey scene. This one. A little bit of something in the distance there. Go for atmosphere, so let's make it wet here and just let it uh, paint itself. All the best paintings themselves. Like green, yellow ochre. Uh, we don't have to have bright green. Yeah, bright green wouldn't suit the sky. Continue with the idea with the the road that takes us into the painting. All that road dries. It's um it could be a colour of the road. So let's dry that off. This one is going to be kind of a bluey grey painting. And we'll have a blue roof on that one. Maybe we'll have some light on the, the front of the building there. I leave a few sky holes because we've got some light paper behind it, so that will work quite well. The paint, the uh, dark under the, the building. So I've only had a chance to practice painting farm buildings. Uh, we've done four of them by the time I've uh, on this, so a nice dark leaves there. Just use clean water and just soften that. Just give me a nice graded wash down there at the base of the building here. Door, a window, up to there.
brush just to lift off that paint, but uh, got a connection there. I think we need another tree. Slightly different tree. The uh, branches in there. that tree with a bit of tissue there a little bit of detail where the back may be so i think this not looking very nice at the moment so let's um add an interest in so let's try and put some perhaps cattle in this field ones there that's all made to the illusion that it's uh, further away again because it's a kind of a, an overcast day isn't really a lot in the way of shadow so maybe just a bit of water on the bottom just to soften soften it slightly try and scratch highlight out there of that cow the eye is travelling off the page here, so I need to think about what could I put here. Suppose we could, but we've got some highlights here, so they could also be cattle in the distance. Cattle farm. Trees are great for um, keeping the eye on the painting. Now let's have a tree there. So maybe add a figure on this one. Farmer walking down his track. Rusty dog. Might as well go with that one. So we've just got this final scene. So we've got a blue sunny scene. We've got a warm wintry scene. We've got a grey miserable wintry scene. So let's try and create... The illusion of rain something like that for a while so we're going to need lots of water well it was a sunny day when you took the photo the inspiration you know can take us anywhere Again, much the same method, you know, where I've uh, tried to uh, keep the uh, top of the, uh, the buildings nice and crisp. Highlight works quite well off in the distance there. Adds to a bit of depth. Just to pick up a bit of <coughs> burnt sienna on there, but that's actually quite nice, so we'll leave that. Wet that at the top. Want it to nice looming storm coming. Don't let it run down the paper. Pop it with a bit of water. With something like this, you just got to let it paint itself. See, see what it does. It'll either be a disaster, or it'll be nice. Could possibly make it a snow scene. Try that.
put some darks next to these uh, rooftops, which will make it look even uh, brighter. Adjust the track there. That row that takes us off the page. Clean water. Mop up yeah, this that is uh, collecting that I don't need anymore. Want it to start to dry. Suggest illusion of no with a bit of dry brush there. Soften it with a bit of water. On the road there, so there's possibly going to be tire tracks. It's uh, snow. Let that dry. It's definitely a blue painting. This one. So let's just stay on that theme. So darks under that eaves there. Suggestion of on the roof because it's snow. Just going to be white. You can go darker a little bit with those buildings there. It's dried. We will another go at uh, that tree there, but because uh, we accidentally got some burnt sienna on there, that's burnt sienna over here. That tree. Only two colours and uh, no, two complementary colours. Now the paper's dried, I can get some hard edges and you know, put some other bits of detail in so it's got a of some trees, give it a bit of depth. So, <clears throat> this could be a tree that's got some snow on it because I've left some of the white paper there. So, as long as I don't go over the, the white of the paper, throw a bit of warmth on the front of this building. And there. Nearing the end of a uh, all little paintings that um is still with me. Thanks for watching. But um maybe we'll pick one of these that um let me know in the comments what you think. We'll call this one number one, two, three, and four. And um whichever one perhaps is the most popular. We'll turn it into perhaps a bigger painting, maybe. That could be an idea. Give that a go. Branch, branch through there. Wow. So there you go. 
four simple little paintings, um, all very different, and a chance to try all the different techniques. That uh, a lot of wet into wet into this one. You know, some harder, crisper edges here. So feel of sunlight. Um, again, created a lot of mood here with the softness and a wintry feel here with the skies kind of feel like it's falling down over the mountains and gave a wintry feel there. So um, let me know in the comments what you think. Pick your favourite, one, two, three, four, and um, I shall look forward to seeing you on the next video.